Okay, real quick. I couldn't find this on the internet anywhere, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show people what I did. My H this is for the HP 23 all in one. Earlier I tripped on a cord, it pulled out of the back of the computer right here, as well as out of the power supply right here. I plugged them both back in, tried to turn the machine back on, and it would not start. I went to several posts online uh, using my phone. I read uh, a lot of things about um, HP has a faulty power switch. It, a lot of the 23 all in ones had faulty power switches installed in them. So they can crap out on you. Um, a lot of people were saying to short the switch out at the motherboard. And if uh, nothing happens, then the switch is probably bad. If the machine powers up, then you're then there's something wrong with the motherboard. It won't let it turn on. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I thought I'd show some people what I did because I couldn't find any actual videos on it. I'm not going to show you how to open the machine because there's all kinds of videos out there that tell you how to do it. What I have here is the HP 23 all in one this year the cover has been removed from the top uh, you can see that down here on the floor <clears throat> this is your power plug and your power switch the, what they were talking about for shorting the switch out uh, let me grab a screwdriver they're talking about this switch right here you can see right here on the bottom there, there's four pins that go to the motherboard. They're saying if you use a flathead and, and touch that, it'll short the switch out with power in, obviously, allowing the machine to power up. Um, I did that a couple times. All that happened was my power light right here went out and nothing happened. So I took and followed the cable all the way over to the switch. You can see where it comes into the circuit board on the switch right here. What I did was disconnected this pulled this ribbon right here out on the back side of the ribbon you'll see there are four pins uh, it's hard to see with my phone because it's not the greatest phone in the world there are four pins the one on the left is useless to us the second one in from that one is the first pin that you want the third pin in is useless to us the last pin is the second pin that you want all right what you're going to do is flex that ribbon back to where you can see all the pins you can pull it up if you need to, whatever the case, but just get it to where you can see all the pins. Get yourself a piece of wire. Uh, in this case, I used an old USB cable. I cut the ends off of inside or two wires, a red one and a blue one. I'm using just the red ones. You can see the blue ones are spin back. Strip the wires down, twist them to where you have two good points. What you're going to do then, I'm not going to do it here because I've already fixed my issue and I don't want to do it again. Make sure your power supply is plugged in. You're going to take the two ends of your wires and you're going to touch that second one in from the left and then you're going to touch the last pin. You can do it by touching them right on the ends of the ribbon or you can do it by touching the pins themselves. Sorry, I'm not even showing. You can either touch the ends of the ribbons or you can touch the pins itself, but you want that second pin and that fourth pin. Once you get it right, you're going to go over here. You're going to see a light come on right over here. It may not boot up at first, you may get a light, you may get some noise and sounds, uh, error, error beepings and such, that's fine. Simply unplug this, wait about five seconds, plug it back in, make your attempt again. Uh, eventually it's going to boot up. That doesn't bode well for your switch in this case because now all you got is a ribbon and two pieces of wire to turn on your computer. What you're going to do, or what I did anyway, is use my touch screen, shut the computer back down again. Once the computer is shut down, I took my ribbon, put my ribbon back into the circuit board, which sometimes can be tricky, but make sure you have it nice and straight and you get a nice solid press down in. And then close your clip. Make sure that clip's closed. And then after that, it should power up. Press the button. You'll get a light come on. That's the light I was referring to a little bit ago. And you can see the power light is still on. All right. Make sure your computer boots up, has no problems. You can see the HP is kicking on, the loading symbol is coming on. So everything is good. There's my screen saver. Pull down my touch screen real quick. And you can see it's ready to log in with the touch screen. Not going to bother with that right now. What I am going to do is shut it down and reassemble everything, put the desktop back together. Hope this helps for anyone else that was having this issue. Like I said,
you really sorry I think I was covering the microphone I hope this helps with anyone that was having an issue similar to this or the same issue in this case uh, if you don't trust yourself to, to do any of this take it to a PC repair but you will get charged money for it and make sure you mention to them at the very least that this switch has been known to be faulty this switch is working again in this case for me so I'm assuming there's a capacitor or something along the way that was preventing the switch from working uh, I don't know 100% on that but everything's up and running the machines back together I hope this video helps out thank you